Hello and thank you for joining us today. We are talking about Bible prophecy and how we are in the last days. And the proof of that is all around us. All you have to do is look at the Word of God and look at the world around you. So let's begin. We're going to go to 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 3. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. I have an arrow pointing down to verse 8 where it picks up with what the people of the last days will do. Now, as Jonathan Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. So the people of the last days resist the truth. They resist the truth as Jonathan Jambres withstood Moses. So how did Jonathan Jambres, which are the leaders of the, the magicians of Egypt, how did they resist Moses? It says in Exodus chapter 7, verse 11, it says that they also did in like manner with their enchantments. So they did in like manner to Moses and Aaron. So Moses came in and Aaron cast down his rod and it became a serpent. And so the, the magicians, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. And they cast down, every man cast down their rod and they became serpents as well. They also became serpents. That is the pattern for the last days. It says in the last days they won't resist Moses. They will resist the truth. As Jonathan Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. So what is the truth? We've seen that Jesus is the truth. In John 14, verse 6, it says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So Jesus said himself, he is the truth. He is literally the truth. He is the true vine. He is the sure foundation, the precious corner. He is the light of the world. This is all what Jesus is. That is the truth. He is the true vine, and we are the branches. And the people in the last days, it says they will do in like manner with their enchantments. So they are not. They are not resisting Moses. They are resisting the truth. And we just saw that the truth is that Christ is the truth, and he is the true vine. So the people of the last days will build a vine. They will build a vine to resist the truth. They will build a vine with their enchantments. And we can see it all around us. We can see their vine. For their vine, of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah, their grapes, grapes of gall, their clusters bitter. We can see that they have built their vine. It is of the vine of Sodom, which is the vine of burning, and the electrical wires that go through your houses, over your neighborhood, through the entire nation. They are the vine of Sodom, and the waves that they have, they are the fields of Gomorrah. They are the fields of Gomorrah, and it is all around us, and the proof of that is all around us. We are the branches in that vine. We connect the fruit to the vine. The fruit is all the devices that use the electricity and the electromagnetic spectrum, the wireless system, to run on. This vine is of the vine of Sodom, burning, and the fields of Gomorrah, the electromagnetic fields. It is all around us, and we have become the branches in that vine. We have become the branches, and we have connected the fruit to that vine. As long as we have been in the vine for the, for the last several, several decades, for like a century, we have produced much fruit. And the fruit of that vine, the fruit of that vine are, well, one of the main fruits of the vine are the Apple devices, and they run the iOS operating system, the iOS, and that is actually a Greek word, eos. That is a Greek word, eos, that means poison, rust. So if you look at it like this, the vine of Sodom with the fruit on the end of it, the fruit literally actually says poison. And that is what has happened. If we go back to Deuteronomy 32, 32, we see this. But their vine, of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah, their grapes, grapes of gall, their clusters, bitter. The word bitter is marora, translated, po well, translated poison, translated bitter here, excuse me, it means poison. And that is what we just saw. Their vine is poison. The fruit of their vine is literally poison. It is all around us. It is all around us and we see it. We can see it surrounding us. We can see their false vine as it stands against. It resists the truth. The people of the last days have resisted the truth with their enchantments. They have resisted the truth. The truth is the Christ is the true vine. Christ is the foundation. Christ is the cornerstone. Christ is the light of the world. But in these days, in these last days, they have done in like manner with their enchantments because their vine is the false vine. It is the foundation of their world. It is their foundation. It is their cornerstone. 
Everything is measured by electricity, the wa the wavelengths, the frequencies. It is their cornerstone, and of course, it is the light of their world. They have done in like manner with their enchantments, and they have done it in a manner that we can look at and see because it testifies against them, just as it says in James 5.3. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. And that word rust is the Greek word eos, I-O-S. The I-O-S of them shall be a witness against you, and it absolutely is. We just saw that the vine, the fruit, the apple devices, and the, uh, and the other devices, but the apple devices are actually called poison. They run on poison. The rust of them, the I-O-S of them, is a witness against them. It is a witness against them, and we can see it. And we, if you look back in the history, you can find that the first Apple computer that was for sale was for sale six 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 hundred and sixty six dollars and sixty six cents. Why is it like that? Why are these things showing that the devices are poison? That they are poison, and the vine is of the vine of Sodom. They are showing that because the writing is on the wall. They are showing that because it's said in the Bible, in God's word, that the rust of them will be a witness against them. The IOS of them, it has literally come to pass. It has literally come to pass before our eyes. It has literally come to pass so that we can see it and so that we can understand that Jesus is real. The Bible is real. You can look through the history and see in recent history, in the last hundred years, all the things that have come to pass, including Israel, including the, the, the increase in knowledge, including mass transit. All these things were predicted, and all these things are happening now in this generation, and we can see it. And we are surrounded by the evidence. The vine of Sodom is all around us. It has swallowed up much flesh. It has swallowed us up. And the fruit of the vine is literally running on poison, just as it said it would, proving fulfilling the verse that says it will be a witness against you. The writing is on the wall for us, and you can see all my videos, all of our videos at the sign at signoffire.com, at yeshuaiscoming.com, or on this YouTube channel. So thank you very much. Until next time.